Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you? Did you see my bang slap when I laughed? Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone. So you may be thinking to yourselves, this is not your upload room. This is not your car. Who the heck in the heck are you? And you also might be thinking to yourself, who is this man right here? This guy right here is my boyfriend and the fantastic video editor who has been making all of this happen. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so we are on our way to Chicago. We're going on a birthday trip for me and taking a long weekend to just explore Chicago. So we thought we would take you along on the ride. Yeah. Yeah. We're ready to board your flight to Chicago. Okay, well, I guess we should peace out. Day one in Chicago. Our first stop was the Lincoln Park Zoo, but only after I played in the park. Look at the children, it's like Madeline. Aww. And here's this guy. And here's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know the last time I did a cartwheel? When? I don't know. I can't do it this way. I'm lucky. Whoa. Like okay. Charlie's Angels. That's all I got. Chris said he was going to show us a trick. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, he's blowing bubbles. Have you ever heard of such a thing as canned water? Like what? We found a friend. We just thought that that one zebra was the only zebra, but look, there's like a ton of zebras. That zebra was just a loner. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you good, bro? No, he. He looks like he's playing. Are you gonna climb? He's like, nah, I'm tired. I got really excited to see some flamingos, and I'm pretty sure that this is the closest thing to a flamingo in this enclosure. We found them. Okay. Oh, except you. I'm gonna calm it down. They're so cute. Are these two fighting? I'm gonna say they were kissing. Yeah. Nope, that's definitely a fight. Okay, but watch him eat though. It's kinda disturbing. Zebra needed a little nappy nappy. Oh, good morning. Hey, handsome. Tell me why you're standing there. Of you? <laughs> Is this an appropriate time to make a my humps joke? When you have this whole enclosure with lovely fishies and you squish yourself in this little box. What are you doing in there, friend? Look at his little nose. Hello. Goodbye. What'd you say to me? Talking smack? Friend. Oh, that's me reading comments on Facebook. <laughs> We're going. Goodbye. At the zoo, we discovered that Oliver has a meerkat doppelganger, and then we decided to round out the day with our first Chicago deep dish pizza. Hello! Hello. Hi. <laughs> so we are in Chicago. We kind of forgot to film more yesterday because we were just having a good time. And we're irresponsible. And we're irresponsible YouTubers. Today it is my day of birth. And so we are walking to the Bean. Bean. The Bean. Hello, we made it to the Bean. <laughs> the Bean. Bum, 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 bum. 
But unfortunately, since it's COVID time, the bean gets no love. So we can only look at the beans from here. Okay, <laughs> so I found a big, giant, exciting surprise. This tour is one that I used to go to when I was studying abroad in Cambridge. And I'm shook that there's actually one in the States somewhere. So let's go and you can see some of the cool stuff that uh, they have in Europe. Oh, the nostalgia. When I was a broke-as-a-joke college student studying abroad, Primark was my jam. They have super low prices and literally anything that you can think of. They definitely have a Forever 21 vibe going on. It's definitely on the fast fashion side, which is not something that I enjoy so much as an adult now that I know what goes into that. So I think that Primark has done some things to offset their carbon emissions and show that they're hiring workers that are being paid properly. But, eh, I don't know. Jury's still out. It's fun to look around, but shop with caution. Hey, sir, what you got there? A little something something. A little something something? Yay! I got a Starbucks. I got a Starbucks. I got a Starbucks and it's free because it's my birthday! After a while, the coffee kicked in, and so we stopped to pee at this giant, giant Macy's. I mean, look at it. It's huge! Look at the Jetsons building. They're really tall. Oh, hi! <laughs> You're trying to be in the club? <laughs> we wanted to tell you uh, the journey that we were going on right now. So yesterday, we tried very, very desperately to go to the speakeasy style tiki bar, and it is absolutely hidden. Like, it's impossible to find. Like, we walked, you must have walked that street like five times, and I like read up on it on the internet, and nobody wanted to tell us where it was. So we're going back again because now we're determined and we're gonna find it and you're gonna come with us. So we think we're vaguely near where we're trying to go. I don't know, we walked we walked past here like six times yesterday, so maybe not. <gasps> oh, 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 we found <gasps> it. What? Like a mirage in the distance. Once you walk down this mega mega creepy stairwell, it opens up into voila! a really cool tiki bar. It was so much fun. They have flaming drinks and drinks with dry ice, so they smoke and they have just that. It's all it's all so cool, fun, themey. Love it. After my birthday dinner, which we definitely also forgot to film, we decided to impromptu visit the Museum of Illusions. This was so much fun. Do you remember those magic eye puzzles that you used to try as a kid and could never figure out? Well, guess what? You still can't figure them out as an adult, but this museum will explain them to you. Super fun, would 10 out of 10 recommend. On day three, we decided to visit the Art Institute of Chicago. Say what you said. He looks like a 40 year old tax attorney. Yes, what do you need, Greg? Oh, y you don't know how to work the microwave? Well, you know what, look, I'm trying to read a book. So we're gonna learn how to work the microwave. There's Google. Okay, so I know we're goofing around here, but we actually really loved this museum. There was so much to see, and I would super recommend it if you ever visit Chicago. After the Art Institute, we had dinner at Russian Tea Time. I'd never had Russian food before, but this was a great place to try it because they've been open in Chicago since 1993. They had full tea service and vodka flights and all things Russian. And for your viewing pleasure, here is a video of me looking awkward because I thought that I was getting my picture taken. Hello, so apparently we are in the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. Who's thinking new? But look at this view. Oh, it's so cool. And we're here at Sunset. On day four, we met up with my friend Sonia and her fiance for breakfast, and then walked through the largest Starbucks in the world, which we forgot to film, followed by a trip to Navy Pier before our flight. Oh, hello there. So we are at Navy Pier, and we're going into this, I don't know, mega cool gardeny looking thingy. Wow, look at this thing. Whoa. This is cool. You like the trees? I like the trees. Yeah. I love the trees too. 
This place is filled with the weirdest water fountains I've ever seen. Look at them go. Yeah. They really like their fountains. Look at that. I dare you to walk under it. Yeah. <laughs> Look what we found. Looking at that view? Yeah, I know. I, I, I am looking at the view. Ah, don't call me out! After walking around for several hours at Navy Pier, we'd worked up quite an appetite. So we made our final stop at the Hampton Social. We got to enjoy live music, take in the Chicago view for the last time, and we got to drink cocktails out of a giant seashell, which, who doesn't want that? The food was just okay. But on the bright side, I did get a bonus fry with my French toast, so that's good, right? Home sweet home. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our Chicago journey. We had seriously the best time and I had seriously the best birthday. But since vlogging is new to us, we for sure forgot to film like a lot. You know, it's not natural when you're when you're out enjoying yourself on vacation to break out a camera and take video if you're not used to breaking out your camera and taking video. But it's so cool that we're gonna have this as a memory forever and that we got to share it with you. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, click the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my face or more adventures, click the subscribe button. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.